Well, to close off today at Alma, I'm with Eli Jackson, Carter St. John, linebacker, quarterback, respectively. Want to talk with these guys about what makes this place so special. And I guess let's just start things off with you, Eli, who I know we've had this guy on the show a little bit. Haven't been able to talk to you and talking with Coach Couch, besides leaving the tight end room, which he wasn't too happy about, uh, what's your experience? How do you summarize what it means to be a Scott here at Alma? Um, yeah, uh, being a Scott, I mean, it takes a certain person to come here, and that's kind of why we've had such great success. We're all pretty like-minded. Um, these past two years obviously have been tremendous. Couldn't ask for anything more, and uh, I've created lifelong friendships um, and great academic experience. Really, yeah. All around, man, from the coaching staff down and, and the guys that you meet, and whether it's trip to Scotland or the stuff that you guys do just around campus, I mean, talk about the, the word the coaches have used all day today is relationships, right? The whole program is built on that word. What kind of relationships, Carter, have you made here? I, th I think the first day that we, like my freshman year, Coach Couch said, look around this room. These are guys that will be in your wedding, your best man, all stuff like that. And he's absolutely right. The guys that I've met here, the coaches that I've met, the people, the professors, any of it, you name it, have just been amazing, so nice, so caring. Everyone cares of you as a person. They know you're football players. We're all brothers on the football field, but as people outside in the community, they love us for who we are, not just what we do on the field. Yeah, and then we've gone through all the facilities now. We've seen how nice those are. Everything else, it seems like everything just kind of adds up. It feels like Alma is just the place to be on Saturdays, the support from alumni, fans, the facilities, everything. This place is special. How do you tell other people about that? How do you try and put that into words, Eli? Oh, that's not a good an easy one. Question. No, not an easy not question. Not at all. I guess you have to come and experience it, honestly. Yeah. I mean, our game day visits for recruits are amazing. I remember two years ago playing Albion. They had all of this blocked off, gates. Yeah. There was crowds everywhere. People stormed the field. I mean, We'll have more fans at away games than home, uh, than the other team's home, yeah. uh, you know, crowd. So you just can't, I mean, people coming out wanting to see you, you can't pass that up. I did the game day walk in the mm -hmm. kilt with Coach Couch, and uh, he had talked about how special that is for you guys. That walk never gets old, does it? No, never. It, it, it's a time for us players um, to get locked in mentally and also we allow um, recruits to be right up next to us so we kind of see maybe future teammates that are right there with us. It's awesome with the bag, bagpipes playing, really gets the juices going. Yeah, man, that's awesome. And now talk about expectations this year. I mean, I've talked with coaches about it all day. You guys have earned the right to be the team that others want to take down, right? Because you've had this success. How do you continue to build? That's the, that's the question, man. Uh, you continue to do that by doing exactly what we've done the past two years. and not be entitled to anything. We started out spring practice. Um, we haven't done anything yet, so um, we haven't earned anything in our minds, to be yeah. honest. It's an entire new team. Um, just keep grinding every day. Don't, don't think too much of yourself, and good things will happen. Absolutely, and then this year, CHOP. That's mm -hmm. the acronym, that's what you guys are running with. Yeah. Tell me about, he broke down the acronym earlier, I don't need you to, you know, okay. to break down the letter by letter for me on the yeah. spot, but talk about what that means to you and how your team is kind of identifying behind that. My favorite is Havoc, the Havoc part yeah, you yeah. talked about, just wreaking havoc. I mean, um, again, you've talked about our, the preseason rankings, I mean, they don't mean anything until we actually do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Nothing matters until the end of the season uh, where we want to be, but we want to be able to still create havoc, play like the underdogs that we feel like we are. Um, we're not as good as we think we are, so we want to create havoc wherever it is, whether it's in practice um, or in games, stuff like that, just causing turnovers, going fast. That's what we would do, hope to do at least. Hell yeah. Eli, Carter, thank you for your time, boys. Thanks I for having me. I appreciate you. you. It's, been, uh, awesome. it's been a blast. Oh, yeah.